Uh, I changed and put on my Ant-Man attire because we are going to go eat. Okay, we officially hit food time. We literally, I literally just hit one of everything on the mobile menu. Besides the salad, because nobody wants a salad. But yeah, this is our table. I'm most excited for this wild peanut butter banana bacon sandwich with this like milk shot. I don't know what's happening here. Also this panini, also this buffalo chicken pretzel this giant pretzel we already had the chicken sandwich and the meatball so i'm excited to try these we are gonna start with the bacon and peanut butter sandwich that's wild should we lady in the trap it yeah we should oh my god it's gonna be messy ready i kind of love it the flavor in there is in there that's what i meant a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of jelly, banana. They mesh well together. I didn't get as much bacon, but that bacon has some seasoning on it. If we were food, I feel like that would be us. The, this peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwich? <laughs> All right, great start. We're off to a really good start. Next up is the Impossible Spoonful. Francis and I tried this on our previous video, so Erica is going to try it now. Yes. Oh. I'll be the big spoon, baby girl. Here we go. Hello. Do we have forks? Oh, am I eating with you the little No, you gotta eat with the little one. <laughs> That's what you gotta eat with. <laughs> mm. Right, mm -hmm. right. There's so much in this impossible meat. There's so much flavor in it. I am so impressed with what they've done with the impossible meat here. I'm pescatarian, so I don't eat beef anyway. So this is like it. I'm so Did glad. Did you guys like it? I loved it. I loved it so much. Even under Pim's test kitchen, it says like presented by Impossible. So like they're really pushing it. All right, babies, we are panini. Almost out of a panini. Um, so this is the Pim panini. You can actually get a ninety-nine dollar one. It's yes. just a bunch of them Correct. put together. So can I dip it? Mm, go for it. Right. Okay. You go first. Yes, absolutely. Looks good. There looks like a lot of meat on it. A big pizza roll. You know, oh I can wholeheartedly say that I will get that again. Yeah? Yeah. Because it's good. Mmm. <laughs> it almost tastes like um like a tomato soup and grilled cheese. Oh meat. yeah. On a sandwich. I got really like Jolly Holiday vibes from it, but with like meat. Uh, I think there's chicken in here. It's a buffalo chicken atomic pretzel. I don't even know how to conquer it. Honestly, we're gonna chop it off. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh. Yeah. So we, we did cafe early, so then I Oh! Someone got hit with spice! <laughs> okay, I got hit in the throat. Um, they said atomic pretzel. Yeah. Chicken, but I just That's a kick, sir. If I've ever been kicked. Besides. We'll see how well I handle this because if oh, you, you like spice. It, no, if you didn't handle it, you like the whitest of white. Smother boys. that with the blue cheese, please. <laughs> okay, let's go. The okay. blue cheese is strong. I did get a lot of blue cheese. Well, that's what you. That's literally what you asked. Because it's gonna hide all the spice that's coming up next. It's good though. There's not as much chicken as I would like. It's definitely a snacky meal. Yeah. Um, I, I wish the pretzel was warmer. Was I wouldn't. I yeah. I wouldn't get it as like a full meal, meal, meal. I wouldn't either. But it's a good snack if you like buffalo and pretzel. But honestly, I'm very excited about this big pretzel here because it comes with beer cheese, and that's exciting. We are going to attack this pretzel now. So someone just go into it, please. All right. Here we go. <laughs> And it comes with a beer cheese dipping sauce and then a mustard over on the side. Let's cheers this. Wait, I'm doing the mustard. Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh, someone didn't like the beer cheese. I don't like the beer cheese. I like the beer cheese. Oh, I love it. We forgot about the milk shot. That was part of the peanut butter and bacon and banana sandwich. Um, it's kind of frozen-y. 
Drunk out. <laughs> what was that? I felt, I felt like it was like detergent and like cotton candy and like soap. I was like in a I shot. don't hate it. I was just caught off guard because I was expecting milk, it's but it tastes sweet. like fruit. <gasps> it's a smoothie. It's, it a smoothie. it's a smoothie. It's a smoothie. It's a little smoothie shot. It's a smoothie. It's I was just expecting milk and it it okay. caught me off guard. I'm embarrassed. Taste it now, knowing it's a smoothie. Okay, well now it doesn't taste like soap. Yeah, I think, it, I think it just caught us off guard. So when you get that, it's not milk, it's a smoothie. It's good though, I don't, actually like it. Don't, don't get caught off guard. So what did you get? So this is the Impossible Meat Shmarma, because vegetarian. And this is like a yogurt sauce that it dips in. And we're gonna get into it. Get it. No sauce first. I like it. Mm, it's really flavorful. It's good. I've been a vegetarian for a while, so I don't remember what shawarma tastes like. But I like this. I know that. Let me try sauce. Mm -mm. Add this. This is like 89 cent extra. Worth it. I like it. Just onto there. What is this? Is this the vegetable one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the shawarma oh is. It's like an impossible, oh, impossible cauliflower, meat? Oh falafel. God. Like they mix all of those things together and just make it a shawarma. Oh, that's delicious. Isn't it? There's it's so, so much flavorful. flavor to this. And this yogurt sauce is everything. The yogurt sauce is separate, but like... The yogurt it. amplifies it even more. You need it. it needs yeah. It. Okay, it is time to drink. We pretty much got like one of everything. So we're just gonna go down the line. This is the experiment. It has tequila and popping boba and some other things in it. Um, this is the molecular meltdown. This is the only beer one, single one we got. It is the like uh, ice cream stout beer with like ice cream and then like marshmallows on top, which is crazy. Uh, this is the honey buzz. Uh, I had this during the cast member previews. Very honey y. If you like honey, so honey, so honey. And there's a honey stick in it. And there's a honey stick It's like honey on honey on honey. So much honey. And then the particle fizz, which is a hard seltzer. So all my white claw people um, with uh, popping boba at the bottom. And then, very carefully. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> we got the beer flight, which comes on like a ruler. And they're little mini glasses. So, Very cute. we're just gonna drink now. We are going to start with the Particle Fizz Hard Seltzer. Ooh, it's like White Claw, like it's it's like White Claw beer though. It's White Claw, but like with a malt flavor. With, yeah. It's like a malty, I like that. Yeah, if you want a drink that's not super sweet. It's like almost not sweet at all, like just a little bit There sweet. it is. Uh, if you want a super sweet drink, the honey buzz. I like honey, but I feel like this is even too much honey for me. It's it's very, very it's honey. It's like a couple flavor. of sips would be amazing. This whole thing I could not finish. The beginning tastes like a, a spiked lemonade, uh, but then it's like honey overpowers the lemonade very quickly. Right away. But it's like... It's not even that it's so sweet, it's just really honey forward. It tastes like honey. So much like honey. drinking honey. Uh, we're gonna skip the beer one. <laughs> we're gonna move to the experiment. Now this was my favorite, I tried it already. It has tequila in it. Uh, tequila is my favorite alcohol. So. Same. And then it has the popping mango boba at the top. Yeah, this is great. I don't, it's like a mango passion fruit cocktail. I will drink this whole thing. Very, I had this yesterday too. Very, and I just chugged it. very sweet. <laughs> mango passion fruit. So right? Good. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. It's flavorful and yeah. Yes. And then finally we have the molecular meltdown. Now this is the stout, so it's like very thick or very I don't know, very strong. Are you a beer person usually? I'm a beer I'm not a dark beer person. Same. So I we like, will find like out. Beers, yeah. But the fact that there's ice cream and marshmallows in it, I feel like it might be sweet. Oh, this is almost like a, I think it's a coffee stout. It tastes like black coffee, but like good. I would, I would get this again. It's a good time. 
Francis has joined us finally. And I was right in front of you the nope. whole time. <laughs> no, you were not. Here he is. Okay, try right. these drinks. What is this one? This is the experiment, which is our favorite. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm letting it like sit on my okay. tongue. Okay. I I am I am a, a bitter girl when it comes to alcohol. I take shots. I barely do cocktails. But that was that was good. That was good. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It's hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's surprising. This. That's surprising. This. Okay, so I'm also an IPA girl, so I really like bitter. It's like a coffee. It's like a black yeah. coffee. But like. But with cream. Cream. What's that like alcoholic, like Irish coffee? Bailey's. Bailey's. Yes, yes, that's what like it reminds Bailey's. me of. Okay, see this. This is where I can get white girl wasted. Okay. Blank. It's that kind of drink. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's hard cider, but it tastes beery still, right? Yeah, I like it a lot. It's not like sweet. It's not bitter. It's just right. So this is the one that's, that's the honey. way this too. Is, it's even sweet for us. It's liquid honey. This is what I love. I've had her already, but I will have her again. Really? Mm -hmm. Could you drink a whole one of those? Yeah, I can. Okay. In order, I think these are my top two. Nice. You know, okay. um, this will be my last. Really? Yeah, this will be my third. Oh no. This will be my second. These are my these first. are our favorites. Absolutely. One of okay. this one this one. But that just means we can all we equally can all have equally. our own drink without sharing because we all like that different things. Honestly makes it better. Exactly. This is why you bring me into the mix. I don't know about these two. <laughs> this is my channel now. <laughs> it always happens. There's a drink for everyone at the Pimps Tasting Lab. All right, that is it. We ate our fill Benito. here in Avengers Campus. Obviously, we didn't get here in time for uh, breakfast, breakfast, so we'll have to come back for breakfast. But until then, Tomorrow. we had the drinks, we had the food, all of it. We had the desserts in the previous video, and the featured guest. Erica! <laughs> uh, but thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys real soon. Bye!